Hi, I'm Roger, a uh, software developer with SignalHound, and I'm going to show you how to uh, hook up the SignalHound instrument drivers in uh, the LabVIEW software. So the first thing is to navigate to the SignalHound website, and we can get to the instrument drivers through products, software, and the third option is SignalHound instrument drivers for LabVIEW. So we can see a description and some, some of the requirements. And to take care of the software requirements, we basically need the device drivers, which if we're on Windows, can be obtained through installing Spike, our main software, um, for either 64 or 32-bit. And if we're on Linux, uh, we'll have to install the API, which uh, there are links for that here. Let's go ahead and download the drivers okay so it looks like the zip file is finished downloading so let's open that I have another monitor here so I'll be dragging uh, windows over from it this is inside the zip download uh, so we can see we have folders for BB series which includes BB 60 C and A and SA series, which is SA44B, SA44, and SA124B and A. And installing the drivers is as simple as copying these directories into the LabVIEW instrument driver directory, which can be found. So we'll navigate to LabVIEW folder or C drive. And if you have 32 bit LabVIEW, it's going to be in program files x86. If you have 64-bit, it'll be the regular program files. But we're going to do 32-bit. Go to National Instruments, LabVIEW, and then the inst.lib is where all the instrument drivers live. Uh, these are all the ones that uh, come with LabVIEW standard. So all we have to do is drag these folders into this directory. So now let's open up LabVIEW. So we'll just create a blank VI. And now we will, in the block diagram workspace, uh, we right click to bring up the functions palette and we can find our instrument drivers uh, under instrument IO, instrument drivers. And as we can see, here are the signal hound BB series and SA series drivers. Uh, so let's open up the BB series and we can pin it to the workspace so that it will remain there while we work. Um, so this is where all our VIs live, and the VIs have a one-to-one -one correspondence with uh, our API functions, um, which are documented uh, elsewhere in the API package uh, that you can find on our website. So this is kind of a standard way to organize VIs uh, under pr pretty self-explanatory. Uh, under configure, these are all configuration-related VIs, such as set, uh, center, span, uh, configure level, uh, and so on. And then data is where most of the data acquisition BIs live, uh, all the data acquisition BIs. Um, so one useful trick is that, so let's go ahead and put down open device, which is what we're always going to start with. Uh, and when this screen pops up, if it does, we can just ignore that. Um, it's just saying that uh, a path has changed from, from where it's loading at the DLL. Now, if we take another one of our VIs and, and drag it close, LabVIEW will automatically detect uh, if it senses similar terminals, it will automatically connect those terminals, um, which is convenient, saves us some time. In this case, these are the device handle ID terminal, and this is the error line, which are pretty much always going to be chained together 
uh, in uh, subsequent VIs. Uh, so the VI tree is a useful VI because in its block diagram workspace, it basically just shows us what all our, it shows every VI that we offer and, and kind of where it is located and you can access them from here also. Um, sometimes if one's grayed out, you might, whoops, might have to go to relink to sub VI. So let's just, let me show you how to find our examples through LabVIEW's interface. We go to help, find examples, and then probably the easiest way is to uh, just search for a signal hound keyword. Um, and if we double click on that, it will bring up all the example VIs that we offer uh, with little descriptions. Um, so for example, let's pull up the BB series continuous sweep VI. So as we can see, it's, it's basically a, a simple uh, continuously sweeping spectrum analyzer setup. Um, this can be used just as a starting place or as a reference uh, for how to set up uh, a basic VI like this. We can run it. I think I have a signal, yeah, going through here. And I have this particular example configured so you can change these parameters uh, while running. And yeah, that pretty much covers the, this introductory demonstration of how to install our, our signal hound instrument drivers for our spectrum analyzer devices in LabVIEW. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.